This weekend marks the culmination of a week of events, marking the 60th anniversary of Medgar Evers' death. Tonight, it's the Voices of Courage and Justice Gala at the Jackson Convention Complex. And that's where we find Byron Brown, who joins us live. Good evening, Byron. Well, good evening to you, Mel. The doors just opened for this gala where the program will begin at 7 o'clock in about an hour. And this is an event where they will honor those who are committed to social change throughout the Mississippi, throughout the country, and throughout the world. And some of those people who are going to be honored tonight, just to name a few, will be a former Governor Ray Mabus, Congressman Benny Thompson, and uh, James Meredith. They're just some of the people that are going to be honored tonight. A big night for uh, this event. Uh, Al Sharpton, the Reverend Al Sharpton, will be the keynote speaker. Uh, joining me now is Eli Cooley. He's a uh, student, a college student who's part of the Gen Z Summit. Several college students from around the country are here. He's been here since Tuesday. And uh, Eli, uh, explain what it is about why you want to be a part of the Gen Z Summit and what did you learn from this? Um, the Gen Z Summit, I feel like, shows us a very important part of history. Um, it shows us a part of history that they tried to erase from us. Um, they tried to basically put behind us. Um, since I've been here, I've gone to the Delta and I've learned about the, mom, the Mound Bayou and how important it was and how that was a town where our people uh, were very successful. We had our own hospitals. We had our own everything, our own insurances that we created. And um, that was a part of history that I really didn't know too much about. And I'm glad that I had the opportunity to learn about that since I've been here. Yeah, and a lot of students are from all over the country that are here in Mississippi and in Jackson uh, to, to learn about this. So why is that so important? Um, it's very important. Um, me personally, uh, I go to Morehouse College. Uh, it's, it's definitely important that we learn it now because the history is being pushed away from us. So we need to have it taught to the people that are in my same age gap. So that way it doesn't get erased from us. All right, Eli Cooley, thank you for joining us and hope you enjoy the gala tonight. No more so, house. All right, a big night here uh, here at the gala and a lot of things going to be happening. As I said, the doors just opened. The gala begins at 7 o'clock and a lot of activities and a lot of things are going to be happening here tonight here at the convention center in downtown Jackson. Melanie, now back to you.